Hi and welcome to Bitches of Horror. And today we're going to talk about the film The Pool. Uh, okay. It's from 2018 by Ping Lumpra Ploeng, starring Thiradej Wang Pua Pan and Ratnamon Rachiratham. <laughs> My pronunciation, I don't yeah. know. Uh, and it's from Thailand. Yeah. And The Pool, as you can uh, guess from the name, uh, it... Um, evolves around a pool. Uh, a guy named Day. <laughs> uh, he is a filmmaker working uh, with a commercial and after the com commercial is shot and everything is done he finds himself stranded in an empty pool which is really deep like six meters. Yeah. It's deep. <laughs> and then he at, at a certain point he finds himself stranded with a very dangerous creature sounds exciting doesn't it i don't know the concept's very very original i feel i don't think i've seen a film about someone who's trapped in a pool like an emptied pool um, no me, me neither yeah and uh i think that they did it like very thrilling like i didn't expect them to make it that you know would you sit on your edge of your seat like ooh, ooh. Yeah, I know. Like uh, when I was watching or, or before watching this film, I'm like, mm, it would probably be so and so. But I mean, I, I was very fascinated by the story. It kind of blew me away, especially mm -hmm. the way that the main character day just gets thrown in like h h shit after shit. And it's it gave me anxiety. <laughs> yeah, it does I'm like just, it's yeah, oh. it really reminded me of um the reboot of the t new Tomb Raider games, the first one where Lara Croft is just like beat, beat upon beat, like she falls off a cliff, then she gets punched in the face, then she gets, you know, cut on a branch and just keeps going and going and going and going. And that's what it kind of felt in, in the pool. Like, you're like, oh, is he going to get a break now? It's like, nope, let's just, you know, beat on him some more. And you're just like, oh, like, I would just give up if it was me. I don't understand how we... <laughs> both physically and mentally like got through it like all these things that they were, they were doing to him um, yeah he, he's very very strong mentally not yeah. just physically but no. just going through all that and yeah and i mean he, he did a wonderful performance yeah he was he, he was yes. ver very good fantastic how he showed all his emotions and i don't know just like everything through like happy to sad to like oh this is rough and you know, just all the different types. His yeah, facial he, expressions were very good. Yeah, he could, like, perform in every situation. Mm. Nothing felt off. You weren't yeah. like, oh, no, he didn't pull that off. I mean, he pulled everything off. Yeah. I think it was pretty hard for him as well, considering that the creature was, like, full CGI. So I doubt that he had anything, like, there. Maybe, like, a stick or something. It didn't really feel like he had, had something to, to kind of look at. Um, yeah, and the, the creature's CGI wasn't the best. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can see it was CGI, but it 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 was a it was okay anyway because it didn't bo bother me anyway. It kind of added some lightness to the si situation. Yeah, I mean, it was terrible. Don't get me wrong. I do think the TG CGI was absolutely horrendous, uh, but. It did, like you said, lighten the mood a little bit, and that helped. Like when Day was being pushed to the to the limits of <laughs> of mental breakdown. Um, otherwise, I think it would have gotten a little bit too depressing. Uh, so it kind of gave like you kind of laughed like a little bit because the the creature was so ugly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, they, did, no, I they probably did the best they could, but. Um, Maybe they did it on purpose like that. I don't know, but it, it was uh, blatantly <laughs> graphic. <laughs> graphic, you know, just, yeah, computer graphics. <laughs> yeah, no, but I think the story is really good and uh, some of the effects were really good. Uh, yeah, the effects minus the great. creature, but the blood and, and yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the blood and like some of the things and like that happened in the beginning. Like I had to look away. I was like, ah, oh, like <laughs> it would like really hurt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The um, way they just started it off, 
I was like, oh, oh, yeah. okay, Al already, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The only thing I think that they could have maybe skipped or or kind of, uh, you know, made a little bit deeper was the connection between Day and uh, Koi, who's the basically the other role lead role in this uh, film. Um, I think that their relationship kind of went from like. I don't know, it was just like too little bit too extreme and then she kinda like disappeared. Like Yeah, she did. I, I forgot film, about her. Like, yeah. I don't know, she you just kinda forgot that she was actually in it. Yeah, as you said, either just like cut that part of the relationship out or if or evolve it even more. Yeah. Like just yeah, yeah making a more natural progress instead of going from this little to that extreme. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think also, uh, like inserting. I mean, I don't. I don't think that they needed the love story at all. Uh, but I think that inserting it is probably sort of a culture thing, like in Asian film or in, in Thai film. Like, all, I'm not saying all films have this, but the, the Thai films that I have seen almost always have a sort of love story in it. Uh, so, I don't know. Maybe. It's just a thing, and also to get more people to come because then maybe you can bring your girlfriend or you know your boyfriend if he loves romantic things, um, to kind of make it a more drama than pure, uh, pure horror. Yeah, but I, I, yeah, but I mean, they his character is so strong on his own that I think the movie would have worked with just him in it yeah. basically. Yeah. Put more yeah. gore in. Hoo, 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 hoo. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but no i thought it was uh, very entertaining for especially like going in blind like and blind, yeah knowing what it was about you're like oh yeah this is gonna be like sort of like a uh, what do you call it mindless watch but it was actually like intriguing you were like "Ooh, what happens next mm -hmm. what can happen next yeah like yeah i like that <laughs> like you, you can't stop watching you're like no. so exciting <laughs> so what do you what do you give it sarah I will give it an 8 out of 10. I give it a 7 out of 10. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's nice. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it was good. Yeah. I really recommend people watching it. Um, but yeah. Yeah, me too. Uh, you might have noticed well, that our this appearance was our... is a little bit different. <laughs> yes. So yeah. thank you for watching our Skype review of the pool. You know, our COVID review, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Hope everyone's staying safe. Um, and uh, if you have any tips on how to make our Skype reviews better technically, then let us know. Uh, if you have any tips yeah. for us to watch, let us know. Yes, so you can follow us on Instagram and Facebook and comment on our videos. Whatever. Yes, and don't forget to stay horrific. Bye. Bye. Bye.